now that I've got my three photos imported into Lightroom, you can see the difference between the images. So this is the first image, the normal exposure that we've taken. This is the camera underexposing, and this is the camera overexposing. So I just switch back to the normal image. You can see the first photograph's 20th of a second, the next one's 40th of a second, and the next one's 10th of a second. So, so if I go back to grid mode, all I have to do is select the three photographs that were taken in the panorama, right click on them. We're just going to come here, photo merge, and click HDR. Okay, so what HDR merge does is combines the three raw files into one raw file. So as you can see, here's our preview. On the right hand side, we have our auto align. So if I uncheck this, this is going to unalign the image. And when I recheck it, it builds the, it aligns the image. So that's just, just in case you move the camera or you've handheld three photographs. And then of course the image will be out of line. And if we check Click auto tone, it'll combine the three images together and give us a better dynamic range. So we now can see detail in the shadows and it's not as blown out. The last thing here we've got is deghosting. So deghosting is let's say we've got someone walking through the frame and they've moved during the time, it'll get rid of them. <laughs> that actually took a little while. Deghosting actually went through every single leaf and every twig and every piece of bark to see what was out of line. On the high setting so i'm just going to leave it at the high i mean we can play around with the medium low see which one's better but this is actually and i'm just going to click merge as you can see lightroom has gone through these three photographs and created a hdr from them and hopefully the dynamic range of this image will be a lot better and lightroom has gone ahead and chosen the name of my first file which is muzza the date back which n90 so if you have a look back here that's a file and also put HDR on the end of it and converted this file into a DNG. Now if we go into Lightroom's develop module, you'll see that Lightroom doing the HDR merge has already applied settings. So we've kind of changed exposure from what it originally was. And we can go ahead and undo those settings quite easily. Or we can just work from here. So there's before and this is what Lightroom has done to after. So you pretty much just have to go through and edit the, edit the image to your liking and move it into Photoshop. Yeah. You've got to understand that Lightroom's HDR merge is a quick and easy application just to merge three photographs into a um, HDR. And if you do want to extend that, you can always look into using Photoshop and you can edit in uh, HDR Pro. I mean, that's a little bit more complex and doesn't always work out as well, but this merge application in Photograph is a beautiful program, so I suggest you use it.